Hey Guru Nation, welcome back to the Clinical Trials Guru.com. Thank you very much for watching. So send your questions, Dan at the Clinical Trials Guru.com, also 949 415 6256, or any and any social network you can think of. Uh, I'm on it. If I'm not, let me know. I'll get on it. Adrian's here. Hello. Adrian's a study coordinator at one of my clinics. So today, I brought Adrian on because someone asked a question, and yes, I can give an answer, but I haven't been coordinating for quite some time. Actually, hmm, probably three or four years now that I have not been coordinating. So I'm not in the trenches like this dude is, right? He's in the trenches every day, you see? So today's question comes from someone who is asking, hey, I would like to know if you can elaborate a little more on database locking from a PI or study coordinator perspective. So a database lock, well, do you want to explain what a database lock is? Well, it's basically when uh, all your data has to be entered into the ECRF and their uh, data source just so they can lock it because they're going to end the studies. Enrollment's closed, the study's about to close soon, so they need a database lock so that they can review everything. So they want all your queries answered. They, they want, want they answered. want everything that you have, all the information you have to be entered. They want everything to be cleaned up, no queries, no deviations, everything has to be entered, everything has to be set. So when they lock it, they lock it. And also they're going to have to have your PI sign every book that's been done and all the data that's entered has to be signed off by your PI. So that's there's a timeline, it has to be done. Yeah. So that's the pressure that it puts on you. And they usually have like quarterly <laughs> locks, so it's not just yeah. one lock at the end of the study. That would be great if it was, it's not that way. They, they, they do quarterly locks now, and what they're doing is they're analyzing the data and they're seeing if it's even worthwhile to continue doing the study. Exactly. So in the past, they didn't have the technology available that we have now to be able to do quarterly database locks because everything was paper CRF. So sometimes they would waste money on a trial where they could have found out many months prior that it's not worth doing anymore. Well, now they can do that, right? And, and the con, the flip side of that, the negative for the sites is a lot of trials can end quicker and we've sure. seen that like it's not common but it happens yeah it happens. Right? sometimes yeah. they say hey we've after our last quarterly database review we find that we're no longer going to be doing the study because either the drug doesn't show efficacy or because of safety issues right so now from your perspective because this is why you're on man yep. from your perspective what like so you, do you like these database locks as a coordinator? I mean, database locks are not a bad thing either because uh, it actually helps you keep up with your data and it helps you, you know, you actually going through it more than you actually would. And uh, you're actually trying to check it to get it cleaned up. You want, you know, everything to be clean and nice before the PI can sign it. Because once the PI signs it, you can't really edit it after. Yeah. And once they database lock, you can't really go back and change any information that you had uh, transcription errors on or anything like that. But I want the real answer, Adrian. Okay. How do you feel about database locks? Oh, I hate database locks. They, they suck. And why? They suck. It's like water sucks, Gatorade's better. Database locks suck. Just leave why? it open. Why? It's just such a, such a hassle. You, you answer queries, then you get like 10 more queries. Then the next day you, you answer those, you get 10 more the next day, and it's just over and over. It's a repetitive Yeah, the most task. annoying ones are the ones that computer-generated queries. Exactly. Because you can tell it's not a person. Exactly. Because a person with a brain would be able to say, hey, this makes sense. But a computer, sometimes it doesn't. And then yeah. you have to like write comments and yeah, you're not supposed to write comments, and then it could trigger more queries. Then it's just query right. after query. Then it's also, you know, you answer queries, say, with your monitor, then uh, the sponsor comes and they're doing their own uh, data quality check, and they're going to also query the same exact thing that you just answered. So it's and just what about the monitor? Do they, do they, they stay on you during the monitors time? are just constantly, every day, sending you emails, calling you, staying up to date with you on the queries, making sure they get done. Uh, saying this needs to be done at this this end of the day then tomorrow same thing this has to be done this this time end of the day and yep. it's, it's just such a hassle I mean it's data but it's important it's very important but it's a hassle to do but in the end it, it, it benefits everybody so yeah. that's the real answer guys uh, database log from the perspective of a coordinator okay so thank you Adrian yeah good stuff man and this is Dan and Adrian Guru Thank you, Nation. Guru Nation. Stay strong from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Take care.